what is the relationship between the exchange rate and the economy? Well, that takes place through international trade. Suppose the currency depreciates. How does that affect the economy? It is the real exchange rate that matters for international trade. We can demonstrate. Suppose that at the current real exchange rate, there is an equivalence in price, in value, between two bottles of green tea produced locally and one bottle of American beer. And, you know, here at home, you like to come home from work and before dinner, you relax by drinking a cool drink sitting on your porch. Some days you drink the local green tea and some days you drink an American beer. The American beer, of course, is produced in another country. So every time you consume one of those, it represents imports. Suppose that there is a real depreciation. Suppose that when the local currency depreciates, it now takes three local bottles of green tea to be the value equivalent of a bottle of American beer. Or to put it another way, the same money that used to could buy two bottles of tea or a beer can now buy three bottles of tea. So the local tea is now a relative bargain. Your, your, your money goes further if you spend it on local tea versus imported beer. So because the local product is now relatively cheaper, you increase your consumption of that and you switch away from the more expensive imported product. So an exchange rate depreciation has the effect of reducing imports, of incentivizing consumers to switch their expenditure from imports to domestically produced goods. But your counterpart in America has the same habit. When he comes home from his job, he too likes to relax in the TV room, drinking a cool drink. Sometimes it's local beer. Sometimes it's that fine imported green tea from Malaysia. But what is an import to that economy is an export from our economy. Therefore, when that same depreciation takes place that now makes Malaysian products, local products, a relative bargain and American beer relatively more expensive, then our American consumer, when he consumes more green tea, that results in us exporting more. So when in our economy there is a real depreciation, our exports go up because foreigners also switch their consumption away from what is produced in their country towards our no cheaper exports. We conclude that a rise in the real exchange rate, a real depreciation, causes imports to decrease and exports to increase. Recently, the trade deficit in Jamaica narrowed, what they call improved. Why would that have happened? Well, since we know that the real exchange rate causes people to switch between local production and imports, let us look at the real exchange rate in this economy in the years leading up to this narrowing of the trade deficit. 
we see that from 2001 up to 2011, real exchange rate went down, a real appreciation. But after that, the real exchange rate went up, a real depreciation of the currency. That would explain why imports would have gone down and exports would have gone up, narrowing the trade deficit. A real depreciation of the local currency discourages imports and stimulates exports.